You said Orphan Kadai really knew what they were doing. Mm. Why? <laughs> well, and what was interesting to me is when I went through the research and as a music teacher, I was trying, I was really interested in what was in the music interventions and what an intervention is, is basically a music program. Um, you know, how were they teaching music? Whether it was an instrument or singing or whatever. And when you start reading across all the research, I started to put together what are the ingredients of a music education that has cognitive benefits. Because you can have a music education that doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, what, what are the things that need to be put together? And it was really funny as I, what, the three that come to mind straight away is there needs to be an instrument, there needs to be singing and there needs to be moving. Um, it's about why it works. We've always known it works, but mm. we've figured it out through trial and error. We've just got a whole bunch of neuroscientists who are now saying, oh, and this is why it works. <laughs> So yeah, it's a it's about it has these ingredients in it, and it, the instrument, the singing, and the moving is really really important. Very prevalent in when we teach younger kids, but it kind of gets lost in a couple of different places. I'm a concert band conductor. There is in traditional pedagogy and the traditional way you take a concert band, there's no singing and there's definitely no moving. We sit and we play. <laughs> Can we have a conductor? Um, but where's the singing where's the moving and it was one of the things I did as a little experiment to have more singing in my concert band than playing and we we do lots and lots of moving as well and that I've never it was a revelation to me um, because now I don't have to worry about tuning with these kids because if they can't sing it they can't play it and I get them to sing it in tune and they play it in tune so it's it's just really simple but wouldn't have thought about it beforehand and that's the same with so many pedagogies, um, certainly as a piano teacher. Um, mm. And we at, at Forte School of Music, we use what we call whole body learning, which is a combination of Delcro's Elf and Kadai. Mm. And um, teachers have to move and sing and the children move and sing. And the results are amazing. And we've mm. just been doing a lot of work with teachers on using that strategy because traditional piano teachers and, and all instrumental teachers will put the music up in front of their student and yeah, they all sit down and they play it, read and play, which mm. is far from being an awful Kadai or Delcro's approach. Yeah. 